right, so this is first thing in the morning. Coming to get the pup out. Show you what to do for her first morning potty. She probably really needs to go. She's been in there for about nine and a half hours. So we're just gonna get her straight out, straight away. I'm not gonna let her rush though. Hi, hi. Sit. Come on, you wanna get out. Her kennel's a little bit smallish for her because she just got here and I don't want her to eliminate in the crate because most dogs good. Most dogs don't want to um she gave me a sit, so I said good. And I'm gonna get the leash, but I'm not she's pushing a little bit. But I'm not gonna let her. Let's go. A little bit of a wait. And then we're gonna walk straight over to the door. Nope. Just do not gonna let her rush out. I'll wait a moment. Nope. Let's go. Just a little bit of a pause. Over to the same potty spot. Go potty. 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 Good girl. Good girl, sister. What a good girl, Ashti. And we'll walk around and see if she has to poop. No. And not going to let her jump on me, so the word was nope. Good. I'm going to go walk around, see if she has to poop. And if she does, I'll kind of do the same thing. Go potty, go potty. With my dog, I say poop. Go poop. Um, and if she doesn't, we'll go back in, and we'll try again later. But sit. Good. So that's teaching her if she really wants to get pet, don't jump on me. Have a sit instead. Good girl. Let's go. But anyway, I'll do the same thing. I'm not going to let her rush through the door. I'm not making her wait and sit and look at me. Just have a pause before she gets to the door or gets out the crate because I don't want it to be a big rush. Like the threshold doesn't meet. Nope. Sit. Good. So the nope on the jump. Redirect with the sit. And then when her butt hit down, good. And then reinforcement with the pet. Right, there's a little more morning routine with the puppy. And she has pooped out here before, so maybe... Oh, I think she's going to go do it. Go poop! Oh no, that seems like a different kind of smell. Ash, do you know? I don't, there's deer out here, so I don't want her eating deer poop. Let's go, Ashty! Good girl. And just a little wander about, sniffing, sniffing the world. Let's go. Let's go. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah. Sit. Good. Teaching her how to get some pets. Oh, what a good girl, Ashti. Break. Sometimes it takes a little while for a dog to have to poop because um, they've been, they just need to move, you know, kind of like us. They just need to move. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Trying to get her untangled. Good girl. Good girl. Not great footage, but it's what you get. It's what you get. Nope. Sit. Nope. So I'm going to add a knee if she does it again. Sit. Good. Good girl. That's how you get the pets. Break. Ashti, let's go. She's learning what let's go means. It means we're moving this way. Let's go, Ashti. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. And I'm keeping the poop area pretty small, right? Just walking 10 feet that way, 10 feet back this way. And I want it to be the same area. And the pee area is just up on that little flat zone. Good. So sometimes I noticed yesterday she made a grunting sound before she actually pooped. Let's go. Let's go. 
And then she walked around and around and around before she finally pooped. And she's gonna do it again, I think. Let's go. She's just not sure about this area for pooping. Even though she went in it once. So right when she starts to look like she's gonna poop. I'm gonna say goodbye. Let's go. Ashti, let's go. Ashti, come on. Good girl. Let's go. And I keep walking around her other poo from yesterday, thinking it might help. Let's go. Ashti, let's go. Good girl. Maybe she feels with her. You're eating some bread. No, don't you jump. Good. Good choice. Good choice. Let's go. So there's a poop. She just had a sip of. Let's go. Sit. Nope. Sit. Good. Good. We're not going to do that jumping no more. We're going to quit that jumping. Let's go. Okay, I'm going to probably take her in in a few minutes. Nope, because she's starting to play. I'll give it one more walk back and forth. Let's go. And then I'm going to go in. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Good girl. All right, I'm not gonna do this with you guys. I'm gonna focus on her. But just know it's the same thing. Same thing. Bye. Sit. Good, all right, so she didn't poop, but we're gonna go back in. Let's go. Good girl, I'm gonna put her back in the crate. Good girl. We're gonna get her back in with some treats because she's probably not gonna wanna go back in on her own. A little bit of kibble. shouldn't be doing if they get into trouble I can give them information around it but I put her water back in now she can drink all she wants I know she's drinking a lot right now so I'm gonna come back in probably within the hour and work with her doing a block of time but I'm gonna start out with another potty just like we did that whole first morning potty session will proceed every time I get her out of the crate and if she whines a lot, we will give her information around that, which is a nope. Nope. With a little follow-up correction. We're not going to be fans of that. And hopefully I'll move her into a bigger crate in the next day or two because I want her to be able to not eliminate in the crate. So that's why it's small right now. Nope. So marking the whine, correcting with the bang, and that bang will get louder if she doesn't quit doing it. All right, there's the first... Time in the morning with your puppy. Every dog's a little different too, so it's not like one size fits all. You gotta read your dog and figure out what they need, what to expect out of them, how long they can go in the crate overnight, ask the breeder before you bring it home, if they've been able to go overnight, is it 11 p.m. to 6 a.m., do they need a 2 a.m. potty time, what the deal is with your pup, ask that before you bring it home. It's it, helpful, it's really helpful, and then, start to get them on your schedule. So maybe you're doing a 10 p.m. and a 5 a.m., but then next night you're gonna do a 10 p.m. and a 6 a.m., and then a 10 p.m. and a 7 a.m., or 9 p.m. and a 7 a.m. You know, that's pretty standard for most dogs. They can do that. Every dog I've worked with, to be honest, can go at least 9 p.m. to 7 a.m. Bye.